Hello, I'm going to do a Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. I'm using my John Holland, the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. So I had my cleansing stone on top. And to clear the cards, so let's see what's going on. So we have the current situation. We have choosing wisely, which that is the seven of cups that is being crossed by the heart chakra. Ooh, doing what you love. All right. What do you need to focus on? We have number 19, light, and that is the sun. What are you, your past you're leaving behind? We have the Three of Cups. Your strengths. Oh, I like that one. Stand your ground, which is the Seven of Wands. We have, oh, I like that one. Near Future, New Beginnings, which is the Fool. We have the Advice, um, number nine, which is Solitude, and that is the Hermit. We have your environment, which is the Four of Cups, Discon discontent and bored, boredom. We have your hopes and fears. We have positive movement forward, which is the um, the Eight of Pentacles. And then we have the potential outcome, which is Third Eye Chakra. And then I'm gonna grab one more. We have Rest and Rejuvenate, which is the Four of Swords. And I feel like this one too. We have number 13, Transformation, which is the uh, Death card. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Pentacles, Movement, Choices, and Decisions. Definitely, I feel like there's a lot of choices and decisions that are going on here for you because this is kind of the overall energy. So movement, choices, decisions, what do I do? Where do I go? And then we have the current situation, which is choose wisely, right? So it's not rushing into some choices or decisions. And I feel like you're, maybe your heart wants one thing and your head wants another and because you're, it's crossed with the heart chakra and you're like, you know, maybe it's, it's, it's a decision or a choice. And I feel like it's would choose wisely, right? Choose wisely, choose for the best situation that's going to work for you, right? Because there is, you know, choices have consequences, right? Sometimes good, sometimes bad, sometimes nothing at all. But I feel like making choices and decisions, I, I feel like it's a big choice for you. And I feel like you're struggling with something that you want in your heart, but there's something you're also battling with your head and your heart. Um, what do you need to focus on? What makes you happy? All right, well, with uh, the sun card there, it's like, what makes you happy? Like being true to what makes you happy and not denying yourself that, right? What really makes you happy? Like if you make a decision or a choice for someone else and you're making them happy, is that really making you happy, right? Because if it doesn't, then over time that resentment is going to build up, that frustration is going to build up and those problems, little things are gonna start to agitate you. Little things are start gonna start to irritate you and then there's going to be this negativity that's going to start building up between you and that person. Um, what are you leaving behind? We have the Three of Cups, which is Rejoice and Celebration. I feel like it's not necessarily that you're leaving happiness behind you. I kind of feel like it's relationships that maybe you have built before. Or it could also be that those relationships have kind of moved on. You've kind of grown out of those relationships. Um, I don't feel that it has to do with your leaving happiness behind. Um, this also can represent that it's your past, like you were really happy, and but you're not happy now. Like, were you really happy in the in your past? Were you really, like, excited? Did you have a big group of friends, you know? Did you have a lot going on and that made you happy? Or you did things, or maybe you had a hobby that you were able to do and that really made you happy and that you haven't felt that in a while. And is that what you need to focus on, right? Have you not felt that happiness? Has that kind of 
kind of melted away from your life and you're like, you know, I just don't feel happy anymore. I used to feel happy when I did this or that or I hung out with this person or that person or I used to feel that way, but I don't feel that way anymore. I'm not feeling that anymore. And trying to make those choices and decision is what makes your heart feel full, what makes your heart feel happy. Um, and maybe there is that, ha that, that lack of happiness and celebration um, that has been going on for you. Um, and that's what you need to get back to. And that's what you need to focus on, right? Those movement, those choices, those decision and um, choosing wisely is what's going to make you happy. Because I feel like you, maybe you've been without that for a while. Your strengths is standing your ground. We have the seven of wands and fighting for what you believe in. Like, I feel like once you get focused, you're like gung ho and you're, you're ready to move forward near future we have new beginnings i love that new beginnings new opportunities new chances new choices right movement and it's positive movement because you're making those choices that make you happy again that make you excited again and give you that energy and that life back um the advice we have number nine which is that hermit and looking within right look within as I said before, what makes you happy? So this right here, what do you need to focus on in your advice? Looking within to find what makes you happy. We have the environment is dis discontent and boredom. So again, I feel like you've lost the happiness. You've lost that sparkle. You've lost that shine. You've lost that glimmer within yourself. And this is the environment that you're in. Is this discontentment, this boredom, this this feeling like you're on the hamster wheel, feeling like, like you're missing out, just, just trying to get through each day. That's the energy here. And so we want to have this new beginnings. Like we, you want to move away from this energy. Hopes and fears. We have the eight of pentacles. We have positive movement forward. I love that positive movement forward. Yes, there is positive movement forward because you are making choices and decisions and you are changing things up because if you because you're not happy with something and you want to change it, right? That you're standing your ground and you're saying I'm not going to accept this situation. Um the potential outcome we have the third eye chakra, so I feel like that is that inner knowing, that inner being. Um those it's that intuition and you're saying you're you're following your gut um it's that insight and that clear thought you like you're like this is my goal this is my direction it's um you're not confused by the situation anymore that that you're clear on what makes you happy and that positive movement forward we have that transformation which is number 13 which is that death card so you've let go of what is not serving you anymore that's put to an end and you're transforming and you're moving toward what makes you feel good, what makes you feel happy and what makes you feel better. We have the rest and rejuvenate, which is the four of swords, which is take that time. I feel like to embrace that moment of when you're like, I know this is what I need to do. I know this is where I need to go. I know this is what I want to have happen. And to embrace that and to just like, soak in the moment like with those changes and saying oh, this feels so good I'm so proud of myself I'm so happy that I made these choices and these decisions and I have this new beginning and that I'm not accepting this uh, this boredom and this discontentment and this unhappiness and then I'm so proud of myself and soak that in and to just bask in that that you've stood up right? You stood your ground and you made those choices that are best for you. All right. I'm going to grab a angel answers. For this reading, we have perfect timing, perfect timing. And I love these rainbows that are right here, right? Perfect timing. No time like the present to make these changes and make things happen, right? That if you're not happy and you're not in a good place, perfect timing. This reading could be perfect timing for you, right? That maybe you are going through this and you're like, I don't really know what to do. And I'm kind of feeling overwhelmed. And, you know, what do I need to do? What's my next step? What makes you happy? 
What do you feel inside? Where do you see yourself in a year from now, five years from now? Where do you see it going? What does your life look like? What does it feel like? What do you want it to be like? And make that happen. Make those choices. If you want change, you have to be change, as I always say. All right, we have our um, energy oracle. We have magician and the mirror. I love it. It's the perfect card that could have come out because it's looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, am I happy with what's going on? Am I happy with the way things are going? Do I want changes in my life? Do I want a new beginning? What do I need to do to, to make those changes? I have the power. I have the strength. I don't want to be older and look back and say, I shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? We have the infinity sign, which is above his head, which is individual empowerment and everlasting love. Loving yourself enough to make those changes when they're needed and to see what's going on with a situation and say, something needs to change and I need to do those things to make those changes. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.